What's good, family? Good afternoon, good evening. I ain't gonna lie, it's brick outside. Brick meaning it is cold. And, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy D, who's just your boy Darius, aka Chosen Star Seed, man. And, you know what I'm saying? You got that Elohim and you you got the university and you, and I'm back with another great video. So, man, 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 man. The thing is, bro, how can you escape, you know, how can you escape a game, you know, that, like, how, yeah, how can you escape a game if you don't know you're in it? You feel me? So, really, and really think about that. Like, think about all the VRs that y'all be playing and shit, like, on the PlayStation or whatever, right? Or if you're in the metaverse, you're in a different verse. How do you, how do you know, like, you're even in that? Because it, it seems just like your reality. So, when y'all put them shits on and y'all stay on there for hours... But you, you feel like, no, it's about 30 minutes. Nah, motherfuckers be like, bro, you've been in there for seven hours. Do you know how much time you are putting into another universe? That, that's not even your world. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like, you can't even be present with who you are because you're so distracted by shit that does not matter. You feel me? Like, you're so worried about other people and you need to be worried about yourself. But then you need to realize you need to be selfless as well. But you don't know that because... But it's, it's just crazy. And that's the whole point. It's like you are literally playing The Sims while you play The Sims. You feel me? I, I'm not even I'm not even a rapper. What I'm saying is like, bro, think about this shit. A lot of you play The Sims as a video game, but you don't gotta you but you realize you are the Sims as well. You like you <laughs> this shit is like you it's like you're dander in the computer. But you realize it's of your mind. And this is how they this is how they get us because you believe in that fucking title. A lot of you are in like you are so you don't realize how enslaved we all are because and think about how awakened somebody has to be to think of this agenda, right? And not even somebody, but something has to think of an agenda like this shit, right? And it's like, damn, if you think about it, bro, somebody told somebody to believe in this because it'll implement fear. That's just what man did. This is man's fault. So mankind, you know what I'm saying? A certain ethnic group's kind of people literally sat there and was like, yeah, we are going to make people believe in this title because this is like, I'm scared of it because I don't know what happens after death because somebody told me about it. So I want to put fear into these people because if they believe in what I believe in, you know what I'm saying? I want to take their life. But they don't realize that this is your choice now. You with the gun to your face. You are choosing to believe in a title. You are choosing to be to be worshiping a God, you know what I'm saying? And you're scared as fuck. You are like, but you don't realize, but you're believing a title now. You are worshiping a title. As if it's it's your God, but that's a title. You're worshiping other gods now. You, you feel what I'm saying? This is why people are atheists, because pe people who are atheists, they don't sit here and they don't realize. What the fuck is the truth and what's a lie? So they believe in nothing because they don't care to learn the something that goes on. This is exactly why they don't believe in a title. They don't believe in Satan either. Because what the fuck is, you know what I'm saying? What is God and what is Satan? A lot of y'all don't know that. You don't know a title. You don't know the history within your own English history. So how would you know this shit? You cannot decipher every damn word because you don't even know. You have, you're distracted by life. So, therefore, you don't care to know. But it's like, if you don't know, this is how they got your ass. Because now it's like, you lazy as fuck, for one. Two, you're ignorant. You're ignorant to your own history. You don't care. But what do you think these motherfuckers who got you in slavery are doing? They know their history. That's why they are doing this shit to you. Because they are awake. They have been in the universe. They have been here for some time. Passed down from ancestor to ancestor. And we have to realize where racism even comes from. That shit comes from somebody literally thinking like and knowing that this race is superior. They are gifted for some reason. And I don't like their skin color. So I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna have to enslave them because if they know who they really are, it's done. Like we're like we're, we're getting like it's wraps, it's cut over. But if we got guns in their head and shit, yeah, now we got them. Like it's, yeah, yeah, you believe my God, or else I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kill your family, I'm gonna rape your kids. That's what people do. This is exactly what motherfuckers was thinking. This was thinking back, like they was thinking that shit. So, it's like, wow, bro. Motherfuckers are, it's like, it's thinking about, it. it's a naked truth chasing a well-dressed lie. That's all this shit is. And you, the thing about it, you don't know the truth or a lie because you, you just don't. 
And so when you don't know this shit, you don't know how to use your mind. You don't, to, you don't know how to use your mind because you believe what you are told. So, and you've been told shit since you came out the womb. So therefore you already know. Like, so, and like, bro, this shit is crazy. Like, think about it. Y'all believe the upside down cross is literally Satan, but it's like, that's a title, my nigga. That is literally a European pagan fucking cross that they came up with, that they put our Messiah on. You, bro, and it's like, you have been taught to hate a race for so fucking long because of what somebody told you. Because you don't know that we literally were the first people here. But she, but she don't realize that you don't accept that. So therefore, you decided to be that skin color as a spiritual being to hate on this skin color because you were taught that. So you have to unlearn that shit as well. You have to know your history for whatever skin color that you are. This is a gift. To know this shit is a gift. And I am a vessel telling you, putting you on game. I'm not from this world. That, this is what this shit means. And if you don't know this, then you are stuck in the fucking matrix. You are in the video game. Welcome. Welcome. You don't know your mind. You will come back here because you believe in distractions and titles. That is your problem. You believe in that. You believe in that. Somebody placed a word upon something and you believe it, but you don't know the history about nothing. But how can you if you're distracted? You're on your phone 24-7. You don't know what reality is because what is reality? What is life? You don't even know that. You can't even question life because you don't know it. You don't even know your own history. His story. His story. His, his story. Think about that. A nigga who is Asian has a story. Jamaican, Haitian, bruh, Indian, Japanese, black, white. They all have stories. His story. They all have, we all have ancestors. We all have people who came before us. And if you don't know this shit, bro, welcome to the Matrix, nigga. You're going to be back and you're going to goddamn relearn again. Because why? What, what happens after life? You believe in Judgment Day, but you don't even know what the fuck Judgment Day is. So therefore, why are you worried about it, my brothers and sisters? Why are you worried? Why are you worried when you should be living life doing what is right and don't lie? Nigga, do not lie. That's exactly what our creator was telling Adam and Eve, our first parents. Do not lie. Just don't do it. Don't lie. That is not of my creation. I did not. Our divine creation literally told these spirits that they became flesh because they did not listen. They did not listen. And who did not listen? Eve did not listen. And she was vulnerable. So therefore, she taught, she told Adam, boom, boom, this and that. But she didn't know. Like she was not listening because she believed. She, and you blame it on Satan. No, 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 no. That was your choice. So now, so now you have cursed humanity. This is your fault now because it's like, think about it. If you don't know this shit, <laughs> oh my gosh, if you don't know, bro, you don't know shit in life. You don't even know the history of your first parents. So when you think about that, bro, when Eve ate that motherfucking apple, then I was like, bro, and Adam, here you go. And it's like, bro, our creator literally told you don't do it, but he knew it was going to happen. And whenever y'all say, why would God do that? It's like, that's a title. A title would not do that. A title would not do that. That comes from mankind. Our creation literally told them, don't do it. But as humans, like, when they're like, that's how they became humans because they, she did not listen. So they just like, you know what? I'm going to do it just because, you know, our creator our creator said do it, but I want to do it. That And you blame it on Satan. It's like, bro, that is, that's a title. That's a title. It's, there is a, there is, Lucifer is a light bearer. So therefore... What is the sun? What is the sun? So there are people who worship the sun. You are putting God before, you know what I'm saying, creation, like be, like the divine creation, Elohim. So we have to realize now, you have to learn the history about Jesus. Who is Jesus? That is a title. Who is that? You believe in, bro. It is crazy, bro. Like, this shit crazy, man. Oh, my gosh. How If you don't know your own history, bro, you don't know that you're in the matrix. So therefore, what is the matrix? You have to learn this shit now. You have to learn everything they told you. You have to like learn shit that they don't tell. They don't tell you for a reason. You have like just go against the grain. Go against what somebody told you and learn that shit. Oh, don't worry about the black market. Now I'm gonna learn it because you told me not to learn it. Simple. It's simple. It's simple as that. Stop being told what to do and just do it. That's why women want a leader. They want a man to literally 
do shit. Not because she told him to do it, but because he wanted to do it. Nigga, oh my gosh. And in the day, man, bro, I ain't gonna make this video too long, bro. Escape. Use your mind. Listen to everything I'm saying, but take it with a grain of salt. You know? So, use your mind, free your mind, and actually unlearn what they told you. Real shit. When you do that, you'll start to learn how to live life. The truth about life. Stop believing in titles. Believe in a divine creation. This is what our creator was talking about. <laughs> this is what he did, bro. This is what Yahshua did. Yahushua, this is what he did when he was on this earth. Our divine creation put himself through his son. That was the only perfect person in the world. He literally sacrificed himself to save us. They put him on a cross. They put him on the cross. <laughs> They like they put him on their cross and y'all call that Jesus. Hey, that's all I'm gonna say. At the end of the day, man, I love y'all, bro. Take care of yourself, man. I'm gone.